Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the world of custom ROMs and taking a look at how to install Hyperos 2.0 on the Redmi Note 7 Pro. This is an exciting prospect for those looking to breathe new life into their devices, but it's crucial to understand the risks involved, so buckle up and let's get started. Now, let's get into recovery mode. I'm assuming that you have already installed Dynamic ROM supported recovery. Power off your Redmi Note 7 Pro completely. Press and hold the volume up button and the power button simultaneously. Keep holding both buttons until the orange Fox recovery screen appears. You can then release the buttons. Go to wipe data dot dot select cache partition, Dalvik, art cache and data confirm and wait for it to complete. Now go to advanced wipe and types to format the data. Now go back to the install menu and select the Hyperos to .0 file and swipe to install it. Installation will take 2 to 3 minutes, so be patient. After installation of the Hypero zip file, again go back to the installation page and install the XCALIBRE kernel file for kernel SU. Once the flashing is complete, select Reboot System now. Your phone will now reboot. The first boot can take significantly longer than usual, sometimes up to 10 to 15 minutes. Don't panic, just let it do its thing. This specific version of Hyperos to point zero is still in its early stages of development and is known to have several bugs. Therefore, I strongly, strongly recommend that you only attempt this on a secondary device that you're comfortable potentially losing data on. Do not attempt this on your primary phone unless you fully understand and accept the risks. You might notice delays in receiving notifications or interacting with the control center. Your phone might unexpectedly restart itself. That's it, you've successfully installed Hyperos 2.0 on your Redmi Note 7 Pro. Remember, this is a development build, so expect some instability. Use it at your own risk. If you have any questions or run into any issues, please leave a comment below. I'll do my best to help. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech tutorials.